Actually, yeah, I know there was a sprinkle of the Northern Kings. That don't make sense. That don't make sense, brother. And this is what I'm saying that don't make sense. Well, I got a question for you. Brother, hold on. We got to stick to this pertaining, question. Pertaining Why to would this. Christ say the kingdom of God shall be taken away from us and be given to a nation, a nation that will produce the proper fruit? So the kingdom of God shall be taken away from us that is divided from the north listen, and the south listen, of Kelly, listen, listen. and be given to another nation. That don't make any sense. What? Did Israel become two nations? It's it became. It was divided between the northern and southern kingdom. I know what you're talking about, right? Again, remember, I read the Bible before I was dead. So I know what you're talking about. So, like, I'm not going into the etymology either. But listen, this is Hosea chapter. I'm not getting a full understanding of it. Yeah. Because if you go back to Ezekiel, what is it, 36 to dry bones, you know that the Most High is bringing the nation back together. So who's the nation? Who's the nation? Can I, Tell me who's the nation? Who's, who's, who's with the kingdom of God should be taken from and given to a nation that produces yeah. a proper food? Listen, who's he talking about? Gonna, listen, listen, look, listen, Romans chapter 9 is who he's talking about. Listen, we're going to go there. I'm going to read Hosea 1. Hosea chapter 1. And I'm not talking about Esau, by the way. I'm talking about the Hamites. Romans chapter 9. If you notice, if, if you notice the Hamites you know, and the Egyptians, the Egyptians were always with Israel. No, Did you peep that? Because well, Moses yeah, married yeah. an Egyptian, no, right? No, Moses married an Egyptian, no, right? No, Ethiopian, Ethiopian, which is an Egyptian, which is a Kushite. You, brother, you, you smart. You know what I'm talking about. Don't, don't, don't play games with me. You know what I'm talking about. So, 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 that um that Philip taught um, explained the word to which was it. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, not, but right? that don't mean he was a, he was an actual it's, it's unit. Okay. It's unit. How about this? How about, unit. How about, how about Ethiopian unit. Uriah? Uriah who who David had assassinated in the front lines, who was keeping the laws, who was fighting for Israel, right? Right? Who's also a Hittite. Right? Right? Brother, brothers, all of you know this. Who was a Hittite, who was fighting for Israel, who was keeping the laws, who slept in the kingdom of David. So you know he was a righteous man, who refused to even engage in sexual encounter with his wife that slept in the kingdom and said, yo, my brothers are dying out there. I cannot sleep with my wife. I'd rather sleep here. But David had set him up to get killed. But you guys know that he was a Hittite. He was not. You know that people us, are called by right? you know And by everybody know. knows that, right? So he no, was not a Hittite. He was a Hittite. That. He was not a children of Israel. So, how, how but he was right. The Bible says that. We can go there. Because the he called them a Hittite? The scriptures say he was a Hittite. What did that mean? No, no, no. He, 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 he appeared to be as if he was by the citizen of Rome. Go back. Let's go back to your. You were no, no, who was who was she but David impregnated her, right? He committed adultery. He committed adultery. Story. I know you know. Yeah. But you kind of jump in. Guys, a minute, guys. You know the story. Hold on. Let's go so, back. Let's go. You were you said David hit impregnated. What are you talking about? You talking about David she impregnated Bathsheba. You know exactly what you're talking about. Oh no no no. I thought he said. I thought she. Hey, but listen, listen. We're gonna let the scripture speak, all right? This is Hosea chapter one. But he was a Hittite. Let's, let's get right, that straight. Look, look. He was righteous. Hosea chapter one and verse nine. Then said the Most High, call his name Lo Ami, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your God. Verse ten. Yet the what's, number. What's that one? Give me Hosea, Hosea one and nine. One and nine. Verse ten. Yet the number of the children of Yasha Allah, which is Israel in the Hebrew. Hebrew. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, right. which cannot be measured nor numbered. I agree with that. I agree and that it out. shall come to pass that in hold the on, place hold on, hold on. where it was said unto them, we are not my people, I agree with it. there it I shall be said unto mind. them, but let's go to numbers, we chapter are the 12, sons one. of the living Moses God. Moses married an Egyptian, hold a Cushite. Listen, why, why did Moses marry a Cushite? Why, why, why? why? Because they were our brothers and sisters, right? Right? No, oh, I can't hear you. Then why did his brother and sister get mad at him? There's no Hold on, but listen, listen, listen. This is how you come. Let's have a dialogue. There's no angle. Let's have a dialogue. 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 So we have a building. I want to build. I'm going to have a dialogue. Listen, listen. Just now, what I read to you, what did the Most High do? He disowned Israel just now, right? He disowned people that's not keeping the 
commandments. Keep the no, show that's not Israel. what it says. I'll read it again. That's not what it says. Hosea it says chapter Israel. 1, verse 9. Then said the Most High, call his name Lo Ami, for ye are not my people. Because you're not keeping the commandments. Come that's on. And that's an added. Listen. And I will not be your God. Because you're not keeping the commandments. Okay. Yet the number of the children of Israel. So this is talking about the children of Israel. All right. The agree. Most High disowned them and said, "You're not I my people." I with that. So when because they're not keeping the commandments. Oh, oh, I'm not disagreeing with you there. But what? No, when Israel, when the Most High just disowned Israel, what did Israel become? Not a people. When he disowned them. I he said, you are not my people. Not a people. So when you're not the Lord's people, what are you? Become you become cursed. Well, hold on. Gentile. You become cursed. You become cursed. You're, 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 you're now a Gentile. So Israel became Gentile. Gentiles. You always pray. We are special. His best people. Throughout chapter okay. 7, verse 6, it says, we're his holy special people. Now, that's the right exact. It's Hosea chapter 8, verse 8. We should have brought that Romans 9 out. That would have killed that. No, yeah, bring the Romans 9 first. You still have to explain why Moses married a Cushat, which is an Ethiopian, which is a Hamite. That don't make yeah, I don't see that on here. Israel married women of the other nations. It tells you that in the book of Nehemiah. Even the children of Israel, two of their mothers, was a was not Israelite. Right. So you agree that Hamites are brothers and sisters, right? right. No, I don't agree. But well, why so you why? keep going back there? Uh, so uh, you all listen, agree Listen, that. listen, listen. Are uh, Moabites our brothers and sisters? No, I'm talking about Hamites. Why you going to Moabites? But why, 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 why are you staying on him? Yeah. Because based because off the scriptures. Israel married women of Moab. Did, did not Solomon have women of, of, of Moab? They eat them. Wait, was it Ruth? Was it Ruth Moab? Oh, right. Oh, right. Yes, yeah, she okay. was. Okay, so what? Why are they not our yeah, brothers and sisters? Was. And she was a righteous king. Verse two. <laughs> our fact side is our, our fact side is a close relative of ours. That, that's the that's a, that comes down to the line of Elon. I'm connecting. Wait a minute. Oh, what, about what about Edom? What about Edom? What about Edom? That's the spirit. Edom's gonna be destroyed. But, yeah, but that's our brother. Isn't that our brother? <laughs> no, but he's gonna be destroyed. <laughs> <from that. laughs> Moses married a Cushite. Well, what is that? And, and until the brother, and I have friends that are Hebrew, they're like, important? they haven't really explained to me. Until they can explain to me why Moses married a person that wrote the law, married a Hamite. Let me ask you because she looked good. It has everything to do with it. With salvation. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, why he did, wrote, hold on, let me ask he's you a the question. witness to you, the commandments. Let me ask you a question. What he wrote. Hold on, let me ask you a question. Come on. Why did Aaron and Miriam get mad at Moses? Because he married a hit. He married a Cushite. But that's how which is, but that's which is our brothers Ethiopian. and sisters, though. Right? Why would they be mad so at if, if the Israelites can't explain why would what they, God do it? Why would, why would, why would they be mad Here's at it? Here's a better question for you, brother. Oh, no. No, he ain't answering the question. Why would they be mad I'm at it? If they were our brothers and sisters, why would they be mad at it? Numbers chapter 12 says, the Lord says, came down the cloud and says, I don't speak to Moses in riddles. I speak to him face to face. Just like that. <laughs> That's what he uh, said, right? Uh, brother? So uh, if he said that, that means God thought it was righteous. Right? So because of that, I had to say to myself, wait a minute. The Hamites, if God don't disagree with it, why am I disagreeing? You see what I'm saying? With, what? with marrying a Hamite. With Mary, yeah. yeah, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You got a hammer you think about. about? No, I do not. Okay, no, just not, check it. Hey, no, no, no. hey, didn't the Most High destroy each of the folks? Huh? Did it destroy each of them? <laughs> yes, because they, they, they were worshiping all other the first gods. Ones. Idolatry. But they're not under the covenant. They're not under the covenant. No. Stop, stop. There was always foreigners with Israel. Let's go to Exodus chapter, yeah, shall be one Exodus chapter 20, law. verse 8. Which, which means that foporeigners were always living with us. But they, get to they the were point. always let's, yeah. let's get to the point. But wasn't we separate? The, the point of this whole wait, wait, conversation let's, let's, is you wait, think wait, wait. that the Gentiles can be saved. Wait, let's get to the point no, of this. Let's get to the point. My point conversation is that Hamites. Very specific. Let me get more specific. Yeah. The Hamites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hamites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And foreigners living amongst us that keep the commandments that are righteous can be saved. Let me ask you. I got one phone. Let me ask you. I'm gonna ask you two questions. Grab that. Oh my God. The Hamites that are righteous to keep the commandments. Two questions. 
Good question. Put that together. Good question. First question. That's, that's uh, awesome. What makes Israel special? Why did the Most High choose Israel? Why? What makes her special? Because that's, that was Abraham Isaac. First. Okay. What is their job? That was not. That's not what I'm looking for. But what's their job in the earth? <laughs> to, to, be, to be the light of the earth. To tell people about God. And to repent. What? To tell people to repent from their wickedness. Right? You can't repent if you're not under the law. The most I made Matthew 21 verse 42 tell us, tells us that if I, the kingdom of God shall be taken away from you, us, and given to a people that, wrong, that, will nah, keep nah. The, that will keep the fruit, okay, that me, will do the work of God. Bring, on, you don't want to do the work, I'm going to make somebody else do the work. Let me bring this out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They ain't going to do that, man. First John, chapter, first John chapter 3 verse 4, which is... Um, <laughs> Transgression, transgression, of the Lord. Thank you. And what they give it to us? It was given to us. And but listen, if we if we don't want to keep the commandments, which we did, we started we started being wicked. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. One question. One question. Let's see what you say. We're the chosen people. No, but if we want to do the work of God, He gonna choose anybody to do the work, including Edom. No, no, no. They gotta be sure. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Because he's in covenant with us. Be oh, God. Ah, that's beautiful. They gotta be destroyed. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's, okay. Let's I'm gonna give you. Must be said. I'm gonna give you the benefit <laughs> of the doubt on that. I'm gonna give you What's the benefit of the doubt. So can you explain to us up here when was the laws? Because you said if they keep the laws, right? We know that Israel was given the laws at Mount Sinai just after the Exodus, right? Yes. In the wilderness. How right? the hell they gonna keep the laws? Hold on. Wait. 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 Hold on. <laughs> can you show me where the where the Hamites or the heathen nations received the laws? When and where? But let's most of the Exodus when? chapter 20, verse 8. Okay. Well, let's go there, brother. Well, I got a scripture for you. This is Zephaniah. Why can't we go to Exodus 20, verse 8? We're going to get it. This is Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 11. The Lord would be terrible unto them, for he will famish all the gods of the earth, and men shall worship him, even one from his place, even all the isles of the heathen. Ye Ethiopians also, ye shall be slain by my sword. Yes, the Ethiopians that are keeping the commandments of the Lord. Is, is that, that him? Is that him? Yes, the ones that are keeping the commandments of the Lord. Yes, they're I not agree. Problems. They're not under the covenant, man. <laughs> but not. Let's go to Exodus chapter 20, verse <laughs> Why Exodus are we really chapter, there? All right, but Exodus Come chapter on. 20, verse 4. Let's, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images. No, let's go to 8. 20 okay. verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep your home. home. Six days after labor do all our work. Uh -huh. Seven days the Sabbath day of the Lord thy God. In it that shall not do any work. Thou know that son of the Lord and the commandment service, maid servant, nor that cattle nor the streams, nor that stranger that is within that gate. Oh, so who is a stranger within that gate? Let me explain this, man, because you're you missing it, man. There were still strangers in the land. We didn't totally eradicate them. The most I said that shall be one man of love between you and the people in the land. They have to keep the laws in our land because it's holy. That's why. That's the only reason why. I'm happy you said that. And ultimately, Isaiah, I'm happy you said that. Let's, let's pick it up. Read hey, what Ace said. Please read it. Um, it says Exodus 20 and 8. If, if, let me say this real quick. If, if, if they can keep the laws and be saved, there's no purpose for Israel at the end. Israel is set up to teach the nations how to worship the Most High, not about I, God, I but how to worship I the Most High and how to keep the law. That's not, but at the correct time. Israel can't keep the law perfectly. We already know that. So how the fuck are they gonna? Let me excuse me. How are the how the other nations gonna keep the laws if Israel can't keep it? Yeah. Furthermore, if Israel can't keep it and they broke the covenant, which is why Yahusha came, who's gonna save them from breaking the laws? But you still haven't answered Matthew 21 verse 42. I did answer, answer it. I told you the word is ethno. I told you that. Matter of fact, just get Romans chapter 9, man. Okay. Read the first couple of verses and then jump down to the 20s. This is Romans. This is made to be confusing because it's prophecy. Of course it is. And it's not and revealed it's to everybody. To the Wicked. Yeah, more, it may be confusing to the wicked. That's going to be destroyed according to Second Thessalonians chapter five verse one. Okay, well it's a mystery. It's not given to everybody. Absolutely. It's all a mystery, not even given I to agree. us at, at, at all times. Go ahead. You start at the top of Romans. 
Romans chapter 9 verse 1. Romans chapter 9 verse 1. I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart for I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, uh -huh. who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption right. and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. I agree with you. 100% uh -huh. of that. Whose are the fathers and and of who as concerning concerning the flesh Christ came. Keep going. Who is over all God blessed forever our mind. Keep going. Not as though the word of God had taken none effect for they are not all Israel. Listen man. For they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Skip down to verse 20, 24 to 26. There's two different Israels, man. There's the Israel of the Most High, and there's the regular Israel. All right? The Israel of the Most High is that nation that this stuff is going to be given to. The rest, the rest of the Israel that's going to die in the destruction, I don't know if you believe in the destruction, in the destruction, the rest of the Israel is going to die. third of people be killed. Revelation 9, verse 13. Two thirds. Yes. But they're going to come back through the that's Israel that's of the nine. Most High. Revelation says not. Revelation 9, 13 says one third. So, so now. This chart. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me Let us finish this. Let me finish this out. Let me finish this out. This is Romans chapter 9, verse 24. Let's go. Even us whom he hath called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. Oh, shit. That means that the other nation is going to be saved, right? So who's been grafted in? Let's get it. Oh, who, hold on. Who's been grafted in? Has the Hamites been grafted in? No. Did, did it say that? Yeah. Who's been grafted in? You tell me. Who's the wild olive branches? Who's been grafted in? Let's just get that's that in it, Jeremiah. That's Israel. Israel. That's Israel. Man. Yeah, that's Israel. That's Israel. That's Israel. Because it okay, talks about on. the wild olive branch being broken off. So that means to be broken off. Who was something? not the original branch? So. If they were not if they were not Israel, if they were not us. We go back to who's the wild island branch? Yeah. That's that. not us. We're gonna get into that. Let me finish that up. Let me finish that up. Oh, is there one? So you can read it with yeah. right, him. Yeah, Let me finish that up. Oh yeah. Right. Back in Romans nine and twenty-four. Even us, even, even us. Nine verse what? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Even us, whom he hath called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles, yep. as he saith. Also in Hosea, I will call them my people, which were not my people, oh. and her beloved, which was not beloved. Oh. And this shall come to pass that in the place where it was said to them, ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living God. Because Hosea, hold up, hold up, because... The Gentiles that he's talking about and the nation that he's talking about, the Israel. You guys agree there's two Gentiles, right? There's two, two Gentiles. Israel are Gentiles as well. Gentiles and there's other Gentiles, right? Yeah. Right, right. But right. right. the Gentiles and the ethnos that you're confusing in, um, what is it, Matthew 21? Verse 42. The ethnos that you confuse is Israel. Israel became not a nation when the Mosai left him. How are you a nation? You're not a nation. That doesn't make any sense. I'm a real yeah, not right. When you read Ooh, the curses, I got a piece of, uh, when you read the curses from oh, Balaam, it says they would not be recognized. They're not Israel anymore. They're not a, a nation a called Israel. They're not a nation anymore. Are we a nation off. of people? Let me ask you this. I Today, are we a nation of people? The laws of course we are. How? Where are we recognized in the UN? We're a nation right here. Where are we recognized amongst the UN as a nation? The UN. No, no, no. We nation right We're here. We're not recognized amongst the nations as a nation. Psalms 83. So we're not a nation. You mean you're not a country? Is that what you said? No, I mean we're not a nation. We're not a nation. Is African American a nation? Is that a nation of people? Come on. No, of course not. I know. I know. We recognize ourselves as Israel. That's a nation. But at this time, at this time, we became not a nation. Okay, this country weren't even people. So how the hell can we be a nation? Man. I'm telling you. 
And back in the day, especially during the time of Joshua, bring it out, the oh, yeah. Canaan, we were we were a nation. The other even nations are actually afraid of us because they heard the things that our Lord done for us. You know, bring it out. So the not the not a people. All right, you said how can they become not a people? All right, this is Isaiah chapter seven, verse eight. Seven, verse eight. For the head of Syria is Damascus. And the head of Damascus is resin, and when within three score and five years shall Ephraim be broken, that it be not a people. And this was the Lord prophesying that. But it shows you that the Lord will consider tribes not a people. Ephraim represents the head of the Lord. Ephraim represents the head of the Lord. So is that the head? The northern people, Israel and Judah. That's why uh, when he bent the bowl with Ephraim and, 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 and filled it with Judah, that, that analogy, that's the head of the northern people and the head of the southern people. the bowl with Judah and So Ephraim is not only just the, the, uh, the tribe in itself, but it's a representation of the northern people. Hey, just to answer your question, I got that the wild. people that were grafted in, where the Israelite foreigners, man. And going into that Ethiopian unit. No, the wild branches that were never. The wild the branches that doesn't say that. Of course it says that. You got it right here for you. You got it right Let's go. Let's go there. I don't have that. But I got another piece show. Let's go. Because there's a Was difference. Was Israel not dispersed? Yes, or no? yes absolutely. And in, and in their diaspora, they started to take on the customs of the heathen, right? I agree with that one. All right. So when the Most High, when Yahweh Shai commanded his 12, and he said, go not into the way of the Gentiles, and to any, into any Samaritans, and to not, but go rather to the lost sheep. That's that New Testament. That's oh, a but I was doing some research on it. They said that when they were doing the translation of the KJV, there were so many other words they could have used. Yeah. But they wrote it specifically like that also to promote that universal, the universal, to universalize the scriptures, man. But listen, Israel, like I said, Israel was dispersed. As I agree it, with that. The dispersed of Israel, what, hey, can you hold Deuteronomy 16 to 16 for me up? The dispersed of Israel, they started to adopt the customs and courtesies of, I agree with Okay, that. now in that diaspora, you had some Jake who knew they were Jake. You had some Israelites who knew they were Israelites and were keeping it. Just listen, the wild, bra listen wild branches. I'm going to explain to you. You had some Israelites in the diaspora that knew they were Israelites keeping the custom, some that were completely old. Okay? Now Matthew 10 and 5, the moment Yahweh Shai said to his 12, he commanded them, he said, go not into the way of the Gentiles, or into any of the Samaritans, into you not, but go rather to a lost sheep of the house, house of Israel. Israel. I know that. Why was, but why was Israel considered a lost sheep though? That's a very important Because they weren't keeping the Lord's statutes and commandments. But how? Not only, but not only that, didn't they, did not Israel lose their identity according to Jeremiah? It says that we were discontinued from our heritage. It's they were, this is where they were let's lost. Go Look, let's go there. Look, let's go to the scripture. If I, in the ancient world, right? Look at this. In the ancient world, if I'm an Israelite and I'm living somewhere else on the planet Earth, I can find out how to get to Jerusalem. So they weren't lost geographically. Yeah. They were lost mentally and spiritually. That's, That's what made them lost. Okay? Now, if you hold that Deuteronomy 16, you got that Deuteronomy 16? Listen to this law. Deuteronomy 16, verse 16. Three times in a year shall all thy males appear before the Lord. Thy now, Dude, hold on. The book of Deuteronomy is a, is a part of the, the Torah, right? Keep on. This is written to Israel, right? Keep on. Keep on. In the place which he shall choose, in the feast of unleavened bread, right. and in the feast of weeks, and in the feast of tabernacles, and they shall not appear before the Lord in All right. Read it from the top one more time, sorry. Three times in a year shall all the all thy males appear before the Lord thy God in the place which he shall choose, in the feast of unleavened bread, in the feast of weeks, and in the feast of tabernacles, and they shall not appear before the Lord empty. Alright, so three times out of the year, Israelite foreigners had to come to Jerusalem. That's where you get the um, Acts all the different nations. The day of Pentecost. You know what I mean? Even the Ethiopian unit, he was keeping that law. 
But they called them fire. The, the, the reason why he was being called an Ethiopian is because he was living in that land amongst those people. I agree. That, 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 because I'm not disagreeing with that piece. When you read James 1 and 1, what does it say? Yeah. Oh, I got the piece. Go ahead. So this is Acts chapter 2, verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost was yeah. fully come, they Wait, were that, all with one accord in one, one place. It's like yeah. right. Verse 2, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. I'm with you all. And there were, there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. I'm with you on that. All right, but I'm with you on that. Read them. Nah, read, read what they were what they were called. Con. Oh, um, yeah, con. Yeah. Acts two and eight. I start at seven, and they were all amazed and marvelled, saying one to another, "Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how here now, we notice every called them Galileans after their city, uh -huh. like." My hey, name I'm from be, Brooklyn. Yeah, my name would be Karate. I'm a yeah. Floridian. Right? Yeah, I'm from Brooklyn. But I'm not. I'm not a fuck. I'm not a. I'm not an American. I'm an Israelite. But if it was writing about me, it would call me Karate. The Floridian. Let's right. go to Deuteronomy chapter ten. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Right here. Hold up. Acts chapter two, verse eight. And how hear we every man in our own tongue, wherein we were born, Parthians, and Medes. And Elamites. See, it says where they were born. And it's calling them Parthians, right. Medes, <laughs> right. all of that. Elamites. These these are Israelites. Yeah. 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 So yeah. then you like can't people. so then you can't just say that that Hittite. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that, you made it. You made, right, you made right, it. No. They were, they were Israelites being called those because that's where they were born. A landmass doesn't determine your nationality. The seat of the man does. Of course. Not. So if I'm born in the land of Elam. I might be a I want you to explain this to me. Life. I want you to explain this to me. And you brothers are a very wise brother. Obviously, you guys stay in the scriptures. If our forefathers are all right, all of us, I'm, I'm Haitian. I'm from Haiti. If all of our forefathers were great by the oppressed of the Edomites. Right? Right? But that don't mean that I get what you're saying, brother. How do you know? If, if, if yeah, our forefathers were all great by the right, oppression, don't make it. Right. Come from Jacob. If our forefathers, hold on, stay with me, stay with me. If our forefathers were all great by the oppression, right? But, by the white man. <laughs> that don't make me. Our forefathers that's a good tool before they turn into bad tools. It's slavery and captivity, right? Let me in. So you think the intent of the sexual act determines what race you are? What nationality you are? That's what I'm asking. Brothers, can we get dogged on We can build on this. I'm asking the question we can build on this. Well, I'm trying to understand what you're saying. If our forefathers, all of our fathers fought, but based off our collection, all of our forefathers were raped and slavery. Period. Based off our complexion. So does that make me an Edomite? No. But does that make me other than Israel? Of course not, right? The answer to that is of course not, right? So But it does if your for if your for if your forefather goes back to East Side, you're an Edomite. Right. It don't but matter if, if your forefathers are raped. It don't matter. If it, the intent of the sexual act doesn't matter. Hey, that's what I'm saying. So that make you a white man? You right. know your forefather. You're, based off your nose alone, your forefather. Right? Is that denied the fact that the sky is still out Your nose, uh, your, nose. Yeah, your, your nose, your nose, your nose, my nose. Yeah, my nose like this because I got Elam in my family on my on my, my father's right. mother's side. But if my father's an Israelite, then I'm an Israelite. If my father's an Elamite, so, so is then mine. I'm Elam. So is mine. What I'm saying to you is, what I'm saying to you, gentlemen, what I'm saying to you is, so you guys can clearly understand, is that when I keep the commandments and the laws and the statutes, and on top of that, on top of that, if my if my parents, if my parents kept the laws and statutes also and taught it to me, of course I can be 
upstairs. Of course. Absolutely. My question is, if you follow him, if I'm a Hamite. Yes. No, you gotta ask him what he say. He yeah, never what, determined what, 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 what he about say. salvation. What is salvation to you? Salvation the same thing as it is to you? I know. Well, well explain. I, Cause I don't understand what basis your your salvation is. Is it in? So? Is it in everlasting uh, dwelling? In everlasting heaven? life in heaven. Yes. Because heaven is gonna play out on earth. Yes. The second, uh, the new earth and new. Absolutely. Yes. So, I, can I can I read that? No, you good. You good. You good. outside of the nation of Israel. Say it again? So, salvation. Is your idea of salvation going into heaven and dwelling there forever? Yes, that's true. So, well, the kingdom of heaven, of course, through scripture, is going to be out of earth. Yeah. So that's all. And there is, a, there is, a, yes. there is a, a spiritual dwelling place that is in heaven. It's yes. like I'm in Boston. But, but it will be a new earth be, and a new heaven. Yes, the kingdom I of agree heaven that. that is spoken of in I'm with you. I'm with you. It's on earth. All right. It's a new earth and a new heaven. Now, salvation, to be saved from sin, means you have to be made perfect. All right? Yep. Yeah. Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. Yes. That covenant was given to who? Huh? That covenant of being made perfect was given to who? The children of Israel. Initially, and the, so but the second Christ, the, the Messiah second, says, so if you refuse to do what I'm asking you to do, so are you saying that the second covenant belongs to other nations? No. What is the second covenant? The second, I'm saying I've never seen God reject Christ, the Messiah, reject the Hamites because most had an Egyptian wife. The, the Ethiopian was definitely in the second. We're keeping the laws. Okay. Wait, learning a law. Well, explain to me why the Most High would skip over all. If if what you're saying is true, right? There's so many Shemitic races, especially descendants of Ibar, which are the Hebrews. The Lord could, but he Hamites. So what you about the, so what about the Canaanites then? They're Hamites. You tell so, but Canaanite keeps. I, I can only go based on the scripture. But Canaan. The only go based on the Edomite women. Say it again? Did not Israelites marry Edomite women? Did they rape Edomite women too? That is scripture that I know of. You don't you don't know of any scriptures where they marry Edomite women? Yeah, the house know about that. There's a whole thing that I was talking about, about that. that. <laughs> teach me, brother. Oh, you I, I, rap out here, teach me. I, Listen, hey, I, I don't know about that. Okay, right. I'm going to hold it this way. Go ahead, go ahead. Nah, but I know. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. I got one. It's Acts chapter 13, verse 23. Of uh, this man's seed, and God, according to his promise, raised up unto Israel a savior, Yahweh. When John had first preached for his coming, the baptism of Pentecost, to all the people of Israel. Beautiful. Okay. Only. All right. Only. Read up, read up one time. That's Acts 13, That's brother. 13. That's Acts 13, Read it again. Brother. Read it again, Paul. Read it again. Acts 13. <laughs> verse 23. Of this man's seed, had God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a Savior, Yahweh, when John had first preached before his coming the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. I you God. I agree with that. Hold on, but listen though. Give us a scripture where him is going to be saved. I'm telling you, why, why did Moses, Moses you still have it in his way? Why did Moses, the numbers 12 verse 1, marry Ethiopian? You still haven't answered that. Because there's no importance. What? So Moses, the person that wrote the law can marry a Cushite? And there's no importance to that? Oh, I got a precept. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me. Come on. 
Come on! Oh, yeah. You gotta prove all things. That don't mean that. Come on! You proved to me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You proved to me that that means that the Ethiopian. You proved to me that the Ethiopian is gonna be saved because Moses married an Ethiopian. That's your only scripture. It, it, no, it's not. So because give us, so you give us reach, a, give us, who give David us. took his wife and we already broke that and down. kept the laws and commandments and refused. Refused to go to his wife and slept on the floor of the king of the of the palace. Who he kept the laws? He, no, he was not. He, he was, was a Hittite. Was was he was a yes, Hittite. He was a Hittite. No, 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 he was a Hittite. His wife was a Hittite. The ones in Acts chapter two, huh? The ones in Acts chapter two were Israelites, and they called them Medes and, and uh, Elam. And how about else. how about the how about the how about the Enox who eunuchs who was Right? Who couldn't have sex because they were castrated. But Philip, who was taken by the Holy Spirit and brought to him, because he was reading the scriptures and didn't understand him. But he was the Ethiopian. He was the Israelite. He was the Israelite. He was the Let's go there. 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 Let's go to the scriptures. Was Paul a Roman? Was Paul a Roman? Was Paul a Roman? I, I was think he, he was an Israelite. Paul calls himself a Israelite. What tribe he came from? Huh? What tribe did he come from? I'm not sure. I know he, he was an Israelite. He came from the tribe of Benjamin. Benjamin. Right? But Paul also called himself a Roman. He said he was a Roman citizen. Yeah. It's like saying, I'm from Brooklyn. Where was Paul from? It's like saying, like, Where was Paul I'm from New York. York. Exactly. So, man, it's a Right? You, you answer so, the question. All right. You're, oh, how about this? You believe you're an Israelite, right? Yeah. Of You were born in Jerusalem, right? No. You were born in Brooklyn. So you were born outside the land. You're so you're a foreigner. You would if, if we if, if we were sitting here, listen listen real shit. Two thousand years ago, or two twenty one around there, like not you would be considered a stranger. <laughs> the Jews in Jerusalem. Why did hold on? If this same conversation took place a couple thousand years ago, all of us here would be considered strangers because we were born outside the land. Right. That's what was going on. Tell them about them Yanks. Why did oh, Philip, oh, why did Philip, oh, why did the Holy Spirit take Philip to explain to the Enoch do you, the Egyptians? Listen, do you agree with what I, do you agree with what I just said? Yes. Okay, now, in the, you said you're from the Caribbean, your family's Haitian. I'm Haitian, right? yeah. Now, I, my family's from the island known as Jamaica, okay? Now, at, on the island oh, known as Jamaica, Haitian. so called, <laughs> the, 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 the native, the people born there look down on the people, let's say, I have Hello? a cousin that's born in Jamaica, right? My mother and father are Jamaicans, but they come here and have me. Yeah. The Jamaicans over there are gonna look funny at me because my Jamaican won't sound, my patois won't sound as authentic as this. But that was the same thing that was going on so in Jamaica. So why did they, they call it? And they they call it call in the scriptures. Hold on, listen, you know, listen, you listen, know, listen you know, not only that. Not on, listen, not on, hold on, but listen, not only that, the Jamaicans call the American Jamaicans Yankees. I don't want to use my own understanding. No, Let's go to the scriptures. Not, but, you, but you have to understand that this is our culture. This is what we do as a people. So what I'm trying to explain to you, 2,000 years ago, all of us here would be considered strangers because we were born outside the land. But when Yahweh Shai came through, he said, look, the people born outside the land even the ones who don't even know they're Israelites, they can be saved. That's why he sent Philip to that. That's the whole circumcision. The, the, being called circumcision by by that of the circumcision made with hands. Man. So you're saying oh, the Enoch oh, was an Israelite that didn't know he was an Israelite? Can I get a scripture? Is that what you say? One question, one question. You're saying the Enoch was an Israelite that didn't know he was an Israelite? He knew he would be for a fact. We, so he was reading his scripture. Listen, we could assume that he would knew he was an Israelite because he was keeping the law. He came. But well, the scriptures call him Egyptian? They called him Ethiopian. Let me ask you this Ethiopian? question. Let me ask you this question. Excuse me. When Paul went to Corinth, what nationality of them was the Corinth that he was talking to? They were Corinth? They were, they were Corinth? Was they Israelites? Of course not. Get first Corinthians 10. Get first Corinthians 10 and 1. Get first, I knew you were going to say that. Get first Corinthians 10 and 1. Yeah, that's good. And we're going to yeah. prove that they were Israelites, even though they were being called Corinth. Go ahead. First Corinthians. Oh, so you got it wrong. First Corinthians chapter 10, starting at verse 1. Moreover, brethren. Listen closely. I would not have. I would. So hold on, stop right there. Read that. Read that again. Moreover, brethren. Who was Paul's brethren? 
according to Roman Stein. We ready? Who was the lawsuit for the houses? Okay, okay, good. Good. okay, good. Okay, good. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Moreover, brethren, uh -huh. I would not that ye should be ignorant uh -huh. how that our fathers, our fathers, were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did all eat that same spiritual meat. Now and what, stop right there, now what nation of people was baptized with Moses? Israelites. Okay, so he's saying, read that again. He said the Israelites, right? Read that, read that again. How that all our fathers, our fathers, and he's fathers. talking to what people here? Corinthians, the Corinthians right? Yeah. Go ahead, listen closely. How that our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses. Now, if these were not, if these were Corinthians and these were not Israelites, how were their fathers with Moses? How was their fathers with Moses? Answer that one. Crickets, man. What a lot of people don't understand is that Roman Greece, Roman, Roman Greece were melting pots just like America, where you had a bunch of different ethnicities and races of people living under this American banner, but they all had different cultures. It's the same thing back then. Greece and Rome was a melting pot. Hold on, but the it, it was a city that you still have the answer. Hold on, this is that living question. amongst us who had to keep the commandments weren't us. Because they was in our they land. They were in man. our land. They had to keep the commandments because they were dwelling with us. They had to follow our way. So you agree. Okay, let me ask you a question. How many children How many children did Jacob have? How many children did Jacob have? No. How many children did Jacob have? Twelve. Jacob, <laughs> Jacob had thirteen children. He had one. He had one daughter, Dinah. Dinah was raped by a hammer, right? That's when Simeon and Levi got. We never got rid of the hammer. Hold on. Ever. Hold on. Simeon and Levi got. Mad. Hold on. Simeon and Levi got mad, right? And told them what? That they had to do what? They had to circumcise themselves in order, even though they were beguiling them, you get that they shirt, had to so circumcise you, themselves one man in order to deal you with type in one man of law. Okay? So if any nation wanted to deal with us or partake anything that to deal with us, they have to follow our laws. What I'm trying to you is that we never got rid of the Hamites. Never. Ooh, they were always listen, with us. Nobody said we're ever going to get rid of The only nation that's going to get got rid of is Esau. In the kingdom of heaven, so you believe they can must be saved. I mean, I they're not. They're not going to be saved. Salvation is for Israel. Then the reason why it's not, listen, salvation is for Israel because when we get set up, our job is somebody hold Exodus 19 and 6. We're supposed to be a nation of kings and priests. Okay. After the nation of Israel gets set up, after we get, after we get set up, Isaiah 2. Start with thank you. Do, is the Most High a liar? Yes. Is, is any of his prophecies in the, is, is the Old Testament? I just want to get an understanding. Of is the Old not. Testament done away with? Hell no! Yeah, right, so are there still on. prophecies in the Old Testament that have to come to pass? Of of I just want to get that understanding. So you hold that. Hold Isaiah 2, please. <laughs> Israel is, when you build a school, right? You don't start building the school by getting the students. The Old Testament is the but foundation. Listen, I'm going to use an analogy for you. When you, if I was to build a schoolhouse right now, right? Yeah. What's the first thing you start to? The first thing you get? The foundation, right? Imagine that I said, I'm gonna build an elementary school for kids, but the first thing I started doing was getting desks for kids. No, you gotta start with the foundation. After you get the foundation, you hire the teachers. I'm with you. Man. Okay, well, I'm Israel is the foundation. I, I'm with you. And the teachers. I'm with The other nations. Well, I'm Listen, saying to you hold that for the, the Hamites will always with you. No, but the this is with the will. This oh, is we with always you. been dealing with yeah. him. When, oh, when, when, when Yahweh Shah was born, where did they run to? They Thank ran you. to the land of Egypt, right? right? You said one thing. But you're not. I don't know if you read the Old Testament like that. Yes, but in the Old Testament. Testament. Okay. Well, when you read I in the Old Testament. I, I really study scriptures day and night. Okay, That's well, right. when you go to the Old Testament, I'm, I'm not mistaken, if it's maybe in Numbers, it tells you that the children yeah. of Israel never totally eradicated the Hamites, the Canaanites, which was in the land. Right. There was a reason for that. The Most High told us not to totally eradicate them because if we totally killed all of them, the animals, the wild animals would 
increasing the land in Kelly Coffee. It's actually in the scripture. If I'm not mistaken, it's in Numbers. Now, they were always amongst us. In the land of Israel, the laws must be kept. Read that scripture, all right? Read the scripture. This is Leviticus chapter 24, verse 22. Ye shall have one manner of law as well for the stranger as for one of your own country, for I am the Lord your power. Right, so while we were in the land, this is in the land of Israel, they, whoever's in our land gotta keep our law. You can't be, why? Why, because when we went into the land, the most I told the children of Israel not to make covenants or marriages with their sons and daughters. Why? Not to intermarry. Why? You're not to intermarry. Because they were worshiping False gods, false gods and yes. doing abominations that the most yes. I hated. So thus, when they come into our land and they dwell amongst us, they must keep our laws so that the children of Israel don't go and follow after their God. Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 7. I want, I want, I want, I want to hear what y'all hear about this. I want, I want 23 verse 7. Can I get one? Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 7. Yeah, yeah. 23 verse 7. Let me, me see what y'all think about it. Yeah, yeah. You know what it is. You know what it says. I want to see what y'all think. Hold on. I want to get it. I've been hoping the scripture. Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 23 verse 7. I want to see what y'all think. Oh, yeah. I've been hoping yeah, the scripture for the long time. No, you got to bring out the blue letter. Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 7. I want to hear what y'all think. I got it. I got it. I want to hear what y'all think. Listen to this, though. Hold on. Give me that one scripture. Deuteronomy 23 verse 7. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 7. 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 I said, not a boy. Oh, yes, brother. Yeah, but you just said that. We shouldn't hate them, but God will I know his thing is. I, I got the answer for you. <laughs> I got the answer I'm that not, you won't answer. We shouldn't hate words. our brother, yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. God already like, said you hate the word Gentile. I hate, I hate, I hate, the, I hate the whole English. Yeah. <laughs> the whole I hate English. the whole English. I don't know that the trash. I hate the whole English. Here's the answer. We shouldn't hate them, but God then I think David said he hates them with a perfect enemy. We shouldn't hate them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, listen. Remember, listen. Listen, 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 listen. No. Dismiss them. We don't gotta be deal with it. Yo, this is yo, this is not for you. Peace. Peace. You don't even know what hate me, man. It's a just damn stupid ass thing. Tell me, what, what does hate It's mean? a strong dislike for something. And it's not wrong with strongly I agree. disliking something. I agree. Anybody that's wicked should be disliked. So that's no. It's not for you. Peace. Okay, so he's hated. We gotta waste time cursing him out. I'm not cursing him out. So what about for you? So what, so what about Ecclesiastes 3 and 8? Where it says there's a time for love and a time for hate. How do you discern? The time for love and the time for hate them. We always hate them. We, we're righteous men. We always hate them. The brother just asked you, it's not Esau known as the Lord of Wickets according to Malachi 1 and 4. God hates Esau. So because of that, we tell him, this is not you. You contradict yourself. No, you, I did not. I just asked you, according to Ecclesiastes 3 and 8, right? I, there's a time for love and a time for hate. Yes. Okay. I agree. I asked you, how do you discern when to love and when to hate them? You replied by saying, oh, we always hated wicked. The brother just showed you in Malachi 1, it tells you that Esau is the, anywhere they go, they're known as the border of wickedness. That's right. I so agree. if we've always hated the, I you, agree. so I'm not just so what, when King Solomon during the time of King Solomon, if I'm not mistaken, King David, when they were throwing Edomites off cliffs, were they going off? Oh, I'm not saying that. I'm saying to you, listen. You're the wrong with I'm not wasting your time. I'm not wasting my time. No, I, got I got people to save. I got one. Yeah, not to I'm argue with them. What I'm, what I'm yeah, assuming. I, I, I just have this one trip. I got, I got, I got what I'm opinion. assuming is that we're trying to save our people. Listen, that's I got what a, I'm assuming. I'm trying, yeah, trying, trying, trying to engraft <laughs> other people. Let me not say that. Graph who? Hammer. Who must? Okay. There you go. I'm a there you go. Now you with me. Now you with me. He's trying to get to hell. Did Israel marry women of all nations? According to the scriptures, yes. Okay. In, in the so, Amaya, they were doing it, okay. yes. So, yeah. No, all, 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 all the, the even in Deuteronomy. Yeah. Okay? So, my, my, thing, no, my, thing you, no, my thing is to you, can all those other nations be saved? I like a red train. I believe that the Hamites are always our brothers. They were. Listen, this is what I'm saying to you, because you're basing it off Moses marrying an Ethiopian. That's Moses, but I mean, he could be confused. I'm also basing it off David's encounter with 
Bathsheba and Uriah. And he was a Hittite. Was in Israel. But no, brother, that's not what the scriptures say. Let's, not, let's go there. That's not what the scriptures say. The scriptures say right. he was a Hittite. Right, What's your nationality? I'm an Asian. Oh, we already know that shit, man. I'm Asian, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's why he ain't receiving it. But look, this is Ezekiel chapter 36. And I'm going to start at all. You said I'm not receiving something. Just listen. Give me the scriptures, baby. All right, this is Ezekiel. Anything you say, I'm not receiving. Okay, this is Ezekiel chapter 36. I'm going to start at verse 16. Come on. It says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, I'm one Son of man. Stay focused. Right? All right, the word Ezekiel chapter 36, starting at verse 16. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 16. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, when the house, meaning family, of Yah in Israel dwelt in their land, they defiled it. Right. We agree on that, right? Because they weren't keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, right? They defiled it by their own way and by their doings. Their way was before me as the uncleanness of a removed woman, meaning a woman on her, like a woman on her period. 